Um, I had Michael B. Jordan when he was probably 18. Um, his mother did not like that. But okay. Ben had him. But okay. he all knew. And also... Um, What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiff with the T. Make sure you stay all the way to the end of the video today because I have a special announcement that you definitely don't want to miss. So I want you guys to take a look at this clip that I found. Young woman won't back down as a knife wielding robber goes after her. The footage is terrifying. 23 year old Concepcion Escalante was working at her family's car insurance business. She was all alone. When he first walked into the office, he wore a large straw hat. He was so nice, smiling. It was all very casual, no red flags. Then the suspect said he had to return to his car to retrieve his license. 30 minutes later, he returned. This time, he wore a different hat and came with a knife in his hand. He was standing like this. Right. I went for it. When I went for it, he just, when I bent down to grab it, he grabbed my hair, the top of my so head. So he grabs your hair and then you come over here? We went probably all the way right here. We, yeah. I think we ran into the chair. Yeah. I think we ran into this. And ground. were you hurt badly? On my chest, I have the knife. Oh my gosh. Concepcion is violently pulled by her hair. She's thrown into a wall. Now look at this. In the video, you can see a woman about to enter the office. Then she backs away. Apparently, she yes, didn't- Yes, ma'am, that was me. I opened up the door and didn't help her. I'm proud of it. Let me tell you why, though. That was the dumbest shit I ever seen in my life. Soon as I opened it though, because I heard the commotion, I just went and got me a drink in front of the cone store. As soon as I opened the door, this first thing I see is a knife. First thing I see is a knife. I hear this dude. I had the door open for like two seconds. This dude said, just give me the money. I don't want to hurt your fat ass. All she should have did was, hold on, ma'am. Hello? Yeah, bitch, I done made the news. <laughs> Bitch, my ass I held a dude, bruh. Tell Bubba tell mama about that shit. What you say? This live? Hold on, bitch, I'm live. Tell mama to turn on TV real quick. Alright. I'm sorry, ma'am. Since this is live. I wanna give a shout out to my Instagram real quick and she tally y'all fuck with me one time. <laughs> nah, look, listen, I'm trying to tell you what happened. For real, for real. Serious shit. He, she tussling with him. My thing is, y'all got a whole car insurance company. Y'all know insurance is very important, very important in his life. Obviously, that building ain't had no insurance on it because she rather fucking die. Yes, I know. Disgusting. When I saw this video clip, I was literally so disgusted. There's so many things wrong with the girl at the end of the video. Um, the fact that you can walk in on a crime and at the very least you can't even call 911 disgusting okay the way that the young lady carried herself in the interview on the phone in the middle of the interview talking about bitch i made the news tell mama to turn on tv it's people like this who give black people a bad name like who raised this girl she saw somebody who was in danger one she couldn't even dial 911 to help that person at the very least if she didn't want to walk in and get involved that's understandable but you can't you can't call 911 the fact that there's people in the world who think that it's okay to walk by something you see to walk by a crime and not report it is disgusting to me um if you're that type of person you're disgusting and then she thought it was funny she was super immature laughing about it that lady could have lost her life and you thought it was a joke you, her life was a joke to you and if something like that happened to you you would have wanted somebody to do something about it that just goes to show the type of world we live in the people that are around us their intentions are not always pure um people are not always looking out for you the way that you think they're looking out for you this young lady clearly doesn't have the good sense the lord gave her 
it was a lot it was just and she really didn't see anything wrong with what she was doing are y'all getting trained at home are you guys getting passed down morals and being told what's right and wrong in this generation i'm curious because i see a lot of people who just don't have any morals no moral compass no remorse for the things they do they really don't think there's a bunch of folks out here just mindless idiots and this is just another classic example which brings me to my next clip big snacks in the building big bottles in the building i'm fucking cook everybody cook this a baby bro what do you want that's one it's all it's all premier bandy bob a triple shooting at a holiday cookout in West Philadelphia. A third victim, a 16 year old girl, remains in the hospital in stable condition. Police say more than 100 shots were fired there at the intersection of 60th and Sansom late last night. So many bullets that investigators ran out of evidence markers. Action News reporter Catherine Scott tells of the young man who organized the party and then lost his life. People thought they were fireworks, but they were gunshots. Three people were shot last night at a 4th of July barbecue in West Philadelphia. Two of them were pronounced dead. 23 year old Sir Carr Johnson Jr., a son, father, brother, husband, and entrepreneur. Friends stopped by his West Philadelphia store, Premier Bandy, to pay their respects today. He was one of three people shot last night at 60th and Sansom. Johnson and his 21 year old friend did not survive. His friend's name has not been released by police. Like I'm praying for this father, I'm praying for this mother, I'm praying for this family. This invitation posted on Instagram inviting the community to an Independence Day barbecue, an anniversary party at Johnson's West Philadelphia store. Family and friends say Johnson never hesitated to help others. He could have kept that money to himself, but he was giving back to the community. A 23-year-old entrepreneur and a city activist what else can you ask for? But around 10:30 last night, the shots started. People at first mistaking them for fireworks before starting to run. More than 100 shots were fired. Police ran out of evidence markers. Johnson and his friend were both pronounced dead. A 16-year-old girl was shot and is stable. There are surveillance cameras in the area. Police are hoping to find some footage that can help in this case. In West Philadelphia, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. This happened this past 4th of July, just a few days ago. These two young men were murdered by somebody who was probably just jealous. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is a young man who's doing good for his community. He's young. He's 23 years old. Has his own business. Is giving back to the community. Um, he's a productive citizen of the world. His friend said that he was an activist in the area. A young black man doing well for himself, killed by somebody who clearly does not value life. On top of the malicious act of taking somebody else's life, you go to social media to gloat about it, thinking, thinking what? That we're going to praise you because you're bragging about murdering? people there's a lot wrong with our belief system in this country there's a, a lot of this a lot of the news stories that i see you're not going to see them happening in other countries you you just don't see it you you don't only in the u.s people are just so dumb just dumb i mean dumb i'm just awestruck that you can go on the internet and brag about killing somebody and think you're going to get away with it. Then you want to backtrack and say that you didn't have nothing to do with it, but you clearly admitted to it. So um, I hope that that young man gets what he deserves. The black community in Philadelphia has struggled for a really long time. I went to Philadelphia this past summer and to see the difference between the black areas of Philadelphia and the white areas of, of Philadelphia are, man, it's just, it's crazy. 
Philly is a unique city because even though it's up north, it has like a southern feel. And I, I, won't, I won't say southern culturally, but as far as the divide between black and white, it's so obvious up there. Um, and usually I would say it's not like that in other major cities up north. Um, the ones that I've been to, New York, Chicago, Indianapolis, uh, well, Detroit is kind of like that too, but, um, <laughs> Philadelphia is just, you can tell that the black, that black people in that community, for whatever reason, they still haven't recovered from a lot of pain points in our history. And, um... So yeah, it's just really sad when you see such ignorance. The fact that you're such a devilish person. My God, I don't understand how people live with themselves. I really hope that they have arrested him because this, is, this guy is a menace to society. He's a danger, a threat to, to everybody as long as he's free. So... Anyway, moving on. Superhead recently resurfaced um, and she has this new radio interview where she's talking about Chris Brown, Trey Songs, and Michael B. Jordan. And you know, Michael B. Jordan, Chris Brown, those are like my side pieces. So when I heard this interview, my ears perked up. I want you I want to let you, I want to let you guys I'm going to let you guys hear the audio and then I'm going to let you guys hear the audio and you and you tell me if you think it's true or not. Uh, um I had Michael B Jordan when he was probably 18. Um his mother did not like that. But okay. Ben had him. But okay. he all knew and well, also um, um, it was, it was fine. It was all right. Oh, I had him. And then I had my friend, John Murray on the phone listening. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, a mess. A fucking mess. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God. And so my friend, John Murray, who was a journalist, uh -huh. um, I had him on the phone listening uh -huh. while we did our thing at the hotel. Uh -huh. And then he and I went to a party together like after the Emmys. I mean, the, I don't know, some award show we went to afterward. I don't know, something. But his mom was not happy. And then also, and then Chris Brown I had when he was, I hope he was 18. Limited. It wasn't my... It wasn't Statute my idea. Of limitations is in full effect. I believe okay. he was 18 or 19. I just don't know for sure. I can't okay, lie. He told me he was 18 or 19. He was, he was, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie because he was, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I think he, but he was very young and it wasn't my idea. And he snuck up on me. I was wearing a dress and he snuck up on me. In my defense, he took, he, he took advantage but I liked it. But also, I didn't see it coming. My back was turned. My back was turned. I was cleaning out my tub. Uh huh. And he took advantage. And so I didn't. Okay. I didn't pursue. He took advantage. He I pursued do, you. He, he. Girl, did he ever? Okay. But it was a long right. time ago. Okay. I got so much tea, girl. And Trey Song tried to pee on me for my birthday, and I was like, Trey, that's not how birthdays work. Girl. <laughs> I'm screaming. It's like my 38th birthday. Like okay. it, it wasn't my, it wasn't Statute my idea. Of limitation, girl. The things. Okay, okay. Girl, Ooh, we'll talk okay. later. It's a lot. Girl, That's the it. things. Okay, okay. Girl, Ooh, we'll talk okay. later. It's a lot. My thoughts on the situation is, why would you come out all these years later and say this? Like, first of all, you're old as fuck. Don't you have better things to do with your time? And then second of all, why, is this funny to you? This is cute to you? Like, as old as you are, you still talking about this type of stuff on the radio. It's so tacky and classless. Like, and the way she's even talking about it is like she has the mentality of a teenager. Okay, this stuff probably happened. You know, it could have happened. It, it could have happened. They're celebrities. They, you know, it, it definitely could have happened. It also may not have happened. 
either way it goes. It looks sloppy as fuck. Lady, you need to get you some business. Like, where you come out the woodwork saying all these nasty, freaky deaky things about people who are living their lives in relationships? At least one of these men is in a happy relationship. So you just out of nowhere are gonna come up with these allegations for what? Like, why do people do that? Like. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, I just will never understand. It doesn't sit right with my spirit, okay? Completely unnecessary and uncalled for. Superhead, I thought we left her back in 2010. I don't know why she's popping up in 2021. Her old ass need to go ahead and sit down and stop trying to reminisce about her golden slut bucket days. We really don't care, ma'am we don't that's all the tea i have for you today as promised my special announcement so for those of you who are following me closely you'll know that i'm quickly approaching my 500 subscriber milestone so that means an upcoming giveaway if you're subscribed to my channel give me a suggestion of what you think the giveaway item should be i i have a couple of ideas in mind but i'm not completely in love with any of them in particular um that's one number two i thought it would be really neat if i start doing youtube shout outs and this is just shout outs for other youtubers who whose channels want to be displayed on my platform or potentially small businesses small businesses that i don't currently have a paid sponsorship with I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to do that all the time, but I know for sure I can shout out a channel every time on my platform. My very first shout out is going to be for Musical.ly NMC. Her channel has a lot of pranks and uh, she's I th she is a music artist. I think she's an aspiring music artist. Uh, she does vlogging but for me personally her pranks are my favorite videos because they're authentic they're not like those corny pranks where you know that they set it up before the other person knows about it like she really is legit with her pranks um she's super funny so if you're into that type of content vlogging pranks just little random videos um but i what stands out to me about her channel is pranks so if you're into that, if you're in the market for some new talent here on the YouTube platform, definitely go and check my girl out. Her information is right here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next video.